my color theme for today is Turkish light, Turkish blue, and we build up the color story from there. Also, today is very special because I like to share a story with you from a time in my life that was really hard and this time was really life changing for me. And I hope by sharing this story that it can help some of you out there who have similar experiences and how to get on with their lives. Maybe you can get some inspiration or good ideas or just talk about it because that's really important. I was living with my, at that time, husband and my two children. There were small children. And I had just started as a nurse in our local hospital, working as a nurse and two lovely kids. And I was quite busy by all this. I had every day both work, then I had extra work with acupuncture, and then I had my two kids. So, and the house, and yes, so I was quite busy. And then it happened that three people in my really close family got sick, and I was uh, taking care of them also. So. I was even more busy and I was also worried for my family members because they were seriously ill and I had to be there for them. It, it uh, went over quite a long period so I tried to just do what I could with all the things I had to do. And suddenly I could feel I was changing. I couldn't really sleep at night. I woke up and I was thinking and I was worrying about my family members and and um, I felt bad in my stomach and I couldn't eat so I lost weight. And uh, everything just felt really hard to me. And it, it took me a long time before I realized that I really had stress and it culminated one night where I was with some friends, they had made some, a nice dinner and uh, I didn't really enjoy anything that night, I was just feeling tired I think. So I said that I wanted to go home and uh, at the door on the way out I kind of collapsed and they took me in again and I was just there for a few hours where I really were close to fainting a lot of times. I, was, I felt so dizzy and I didn't feel good at all. Eventually I got a little bit better and I took home and then I decided that I needed to do something. Actually, when I look back, of course I should have um, got on sick leave or something like that because I was really stressed. But I didn't feel I could do it because both my family needed me and we needed to earn some money and, and uh, I then took the decision that I would stop working as a nurse so I could take care of my family and uh, then we had to live off a very low income because then it was only my acupuncture uh, and all, of course also my, my husband's salary that we could live off but um, that was a good decision and after that I have been working a lot with this theme of Stress. Both as a nurse, I have been working with people with stress, but also as an acupuncturist, I have uh, specialized myself in stress because I know exactly how it feels. I can see now it was a mistake of me not to get any help and just go on working and not go on going on sick leave because it took me many years to get rid of this tiredness I had after 
of this dress period. Today I know that I have to take breaks. I can have much work, I can do a lot of things, but I have to have breaks in between because otherwise it will be too much and then I will go back in this condition of stress and I don't want to do that again. Also, I should have been talking with some people about it because sharing it is also a good way of releasing these stress feelings inside. There's a lot we can do as an acupuncturist to help people with stress and I'm doing that nearly every day, every day I'm working, I'm working with people with stress and I could hear myself saying the same things over and over again with the people who had stress so I decided to write it down so I, and collect all the good advice in a little book that book should be very easy and very uh, simple because when you have stress you cannot take a lot of information inside you have to have it very simple just like a guideline do this and this and this and uh, then it's much easier to work with later on so I made this anti-stress manual to help people like myself to get strengthened out of stress and I saw it like like if it was an accident, you have this uh, first aid that you do, first this and this and this and this. And the same I did in the book. So I got four steps in this book. First you have to stop everything that is harming you. Then you have to take care of your basic needs. Then you have to consider what happened. What can you learn of this? And then you have to move on in a maybe a new life because if you don't change anything in this stress situation, like I have to say, I can't cope with two jobs. I can't both be a nurse and an acupuncturist. So I decided to be an acupuncturist. It was a big decision and, and I was sad about it because I liked to be a nurse, but I had to choose. And that's, that's what it's about. It's about what is closest to your heart. What is best to prioritize in the future. Well, it is like this that you can go into my homepage. I will link it below and find this ebook so you can buy it for about under ten dollars right now because of this video here i have uh, lowered the price so all of you who sees this video you can go directly in the, in the next few days it will be in uh, this price and this is how the ebook looks like and I think I need to tell you that my written English is much better than my spoken English. And also my sister is a trained correspondent and she has proofread the book so it's written in a professional, simple English. Yes, I have found out that there can be stress caused by our senses. So if you are sitting at a screen all day, you can be stressed through your eyes. And if you're stressed through your eyes, you have things like headaches and shoulder neck pain. You are, feel stiff in your body and you can feel a bit um, irritated and angry, frustrated and so on. Yeah, so I have a something quite new, departed stress into five other groups that are relating to our senses and emotions. Because I think by understanding what kind of stress you have, it's much easier to cope with it and do the right thing to stop the stress. And it's different either if you are 
stressed by your ears or eyes or if it's emotions like I had the worrying about my relatives. I think I also need to tell you that my relatives got well again, all of them. And today I'm coping with my stress by doing Qigong, walking by the beach, looking at the waves. That's why I am so fascinated by the waves, because I think they can wash all your worries away just by looking at them. And also making ceramic is one of my places where I really relax. Yes, I can nearly taste the bubbles now. Finally, we are finished and now it will be burned at 1240 degrees tonight. So tomorrow morning it's ready and finished and I can't wait. I think it will be very exciting. This is a rainy day and let's see if the sun shines inside here. Let's get some light on first. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, wow. It's a bit darker than I had expected. It looks so exciting now. Let's see it's properly when we get it up. This is how it turned out. And when we put some light on it, you can really see the bubble glaze and the difference between the turkeys and green colors and also some of the white are put on top of the waves and if you like you can now go into my web shop and and what is new right now is that i have made this web shop where you can see all what i'm making and it's for sale like you can go in and find this anti-stress manual well, I thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't done it yet. And I will see you in the next video.